Thank you, Brad. Just ahead, Health Talk Live, protecting the most vulnerable. The Tri-Health team talks to us about those who need care for the coronavirus in assisted living facilities. Health Talk Live with Liz, sponsored by Tri-Health. Hey, good afternoon once again at Health Talk Live today. So many of the assisted living facilities that provide care for older adults have had to protect the most vulnerable in this COVID-19 time. Today, we stopped out at Brookwood Retirement Community to share what the Tri-Health team says families need to know if a loved one needs this type of care right now. And it's a hard decision. It's always a hard decision to come into a, uh, a short-term rehabilitation center or a long-term care, but there's a lot of safeguards in place. And um, it is, in truth, and oftentimes the safest place to be. These things are really hard to manage at home. Some of the circumstances that people have to deal with, um, the aging process are, are a challenge for people that are untrained to manage them at home. And a facility like this is just better able and capable to find things quicker and get better results. So. And Lori, I know you work with the transition for people. I'm sure you're hearing the same thing. You know, you say to a loved one, you want me to go where? And you handle that how? Well, I think a lot of times when families and patients are having to make that difficult decision to move to a different level of care, it's always challenging and difficult, but at the same time, it can be the best situation for the patient to help them recover quicker and get back to their own home sooner. A lot of times people think if they go home, they're going to get better faster, but we do find that if you have certain conditions, going to a short-term skilled nursing facility helps you recover better so that you can get home and do the things you enjoy doing. And I know uh, there are some cases where you can manage them at home and that's said, uh, you know, you said your services are really in demand. Tell me about that. Well, there's nothing like home, home sweet home. Yeah. We, we can do therapy in the home, nursing. We can be aggressive with that. They can be seen daily for a few till we get their strength up. You know, we, we protect our staff our patients and our and their family members from COVID. And we've had a really good success rate with not having people come down with COVID, especially our staff, because they have everything they need to do their jobs and do them well. Well, I know that you've uh, taken a little heat. I guess if we're looking at reassuring people to the best we can, you've got um, some numbers and things that you said you've been following. Talk to, talk to me about the trends. We have been talking about the trend lines and one of the most important items that we monitor is if one person does have the disease or COVID, how many other people they go into infect. And the counties in our general area have been staying right at that one number, which means that the virus is slowing down. So that's a very important moniker for us. I'd love to know what you are talking about. You can share it with me in a number of ways. I'd love to have you shoot me an email, hit me up on Facebook, or my Twitter address is at Elbonus1.